Hello everybody, my name is Prof Crank and welcome to How to Abridge. Today we'll be looking at isolating items. We'll be doing this by using the Photoshop Quick Selection and or the Masking Tool. I shall be isolating this Stormtrooper helmet for a background joke for the upcoming Space Dandy one-shot. For this tutorial, you will need the item you want to isolate, the project or environment you want to insert it into, and a program that can edit photos that either has the Quick Selection tool or the Pen Masking tool. These programs can vary, and they could be either the Adobe Photoshop program, GIMP, or even Pixlar Editor. As long as it has the Quick Selection or Pen Masking tool, you should be fine. So let's get started. Step 1 is importing your file into the program. In Photoshop, you can do this by clicking and dragging the file into Photoshop or going to File, Open, and then selecting your file. Now, once your picture with your subject is in the program, you need to make sure to unlock it and make sure it's an editable and discardable layer. You can simply do this in Photoshop by double-clicking on the layer to unlock it. Step 2 is isolating your subject. First, I will explain how to use the Quick Selection tool and then the Pen Masking tool. Now that you can edit this layer, on the left-hand side of Photoshop, you will find your toolbar. On your toolbar, you will find the Quick Selection tool below the Lasso tool and above the Cropping tool. Now that you've selected this, you can now click and drag over the areas you want selected. The areas you have selected will now be surrounded by a white and black moving line. If you happen to select something you don't want, hold down the Alt key while clicking over the area you wish to deselect. This will take away that area from your selection. If you need to be more exact and clear cut with your selection, the Quick Selection tool may not be for you. You may have to use the Pen tool. Use the Pen tool to create several points around your subject until the start and end points connect. Once you've done this, you can right-click on it and make it a selection. Adding a feather to your selection softens and fades the selection cut you've made. It can be useful for hiding cuts, but can sometimes make the edit look ugly. How much feathering you put on your selection is up to you. Whether or not you've used the Quick Selection tool or the Pen tool, once you have your subject selected, what I can do now is right-click on the selection and then click on Layer via Copy. Once you've done this, you can turn off the original layer's visibility and you will be able to see that your item now has no background. Your item has now been isolated. You can now use this item as you wish. This technique has been used by a variety of different creators, from abridgers to graphic designers to animators, etc. The results depend on your creativity with this tool. 